What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach. We got the last episode of the journey coming to you today. In today's episode, we are going to uh, do a little end of series review. Um, last episode <clears throat> on uh, on Monday, we were knocked out of the Champions League in the semifinals, and. Uh, Won the Bundesliga with uh, Bayern Munich. We decided to retire after that. So, we're going to take a look at, uh, at our history, go down memory lane, and we're going to start off with Landedlos. We spent, um, we were there until 2027. So let's let's take a look at how Landedlos have done since we left. Uh, we have not made the favorite personnel or icons list. Nobody in the legends list. Let's see, I, I doubt there's anybody we recognize as 2039. So I doubt there's anybody we would recognize in this in this list here. Eden Clark, no. Chris Hudson, definitely not. Let's look at their history. Uh, let's see here. 2023 was this. This season. I think this is the one we started. We finished third. Is that the one we. We, we started with. Yes, that is this. OK, yes. This is the season we started in. We finished third place. I believe we made. I don't remember how this uh, how this league is set up. Is it? It's just it's just straight up a, a league. Um, top team wins promotion to the premier. Bottom three are relegated. So that's that's it. So we finished third, our first go at it. Then we finished fifth, a little bit worse of a season. I wonder, can we maybe go back in time? No, that's not what we want. Senior squad. Good look at the transfer history. Okay. Well, <laughs> there went that idea. <laughs> but we are here. We spent three years, three and a half years with the club. So let's go all the way back to the. Here we go. We finished fifth. Then finished fifth again, a little bit worse of a season. Finished sixth that season. I think we left in the middle of this season. And went to Barry. We went to Barrow. That's where we went. We go up. Yes, we can. OK. Uh, let's see here. 20, 26, 27. We want to look at the table. We did go to Barry, then Barrow. That's what it was. So Barry, we finished in seventh place that season. We just missed out on the uh, the top spot, if I remember correctly. We look at the schedule for twenty seven twenty eight. Yeah, we uh, just missed out on it. Um, but then the next season, I think after that is when we were in the top. I believe. Yes, we finished second. We're so close. 
so very close. If we look at Barry, we look at head coaches. We were there from through the end of the 2029 season. So we were there for two and a half years. Uh, we won the J.D. Welsh Cup in 29. And then shortly after that, we, uh, we, we parted and went to Barrow in England. Uh, they have just jumped around manager to manager. I think we are the one that has stayed there the longest. Wow. A lot of interim managers coming in. Um, we look at transfers. Yeah, we still can't look at transfers. That kind of sucks. We can't look at transfers. Where are they? Let's look at their history. This is where we were. We, we just couldn't just couldn't win the league. We tried a couple of times. We just couldn't do it. We did win the J.D. Welsh Cup here. Um, I think it was the 28-29 season that we won the J.D. Welsh Cup. We got into the Europa Conference League. If we look at the schedule... Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we got knocked out... In the qualifying round here, the second qualifying round against Malmo. I, I vaguely remember that and missed out losing to Zimbru to Chanel in the 29-30 season. I think I left before that happened. I, I don't remember that at all. But after after the after we left, right, let's we went to Barrow in England. This Barrow. They're still in League One. Um so you go back. Did is this the team we made it to the preferred? No, we did not make the preferred lists. He and Pritchard made it to the icons list. What's he up to? He's retired. Spent 10 years at Barry, 256 appearances, 55 goals. Went to Lantwit Major where he retired after a season. Good for him. Good for him. Do we recognize any of these other names? We don't. Okay. Uh, head coaches, Zach Young. Okay, then we went to Barrow. Again, didn't... I pressed a button. Browse, please. Browse, browse. Okay, we didn't make it to the to the uh, favorite personnel list anywhere. Do we recognize any of these players? Dean Campbell, maybe? 23 through 34, so we definitely used him. Central midfielder, I, I don't remember. You don't have, like, your history. So, I can't really look at how much you played. But they are still in League One. If we look at their history. Oh, wow, they made it up to the championship. Was there for a season. And then we're immediately relegated. So, this is us, I believe. Yeah, this was this was the back to back. Right? We were there. 
29 through 31. Yeah, so we were there for the for the back to back promotion, back to back champions. So we won the National League Championship in 2030 and then won League Two in 2031. And they've just kind of hung out in League One after that. They went down to League Two and immediately won to come back up. Went back to back promotions again and then back down to League One going into the 2039 season. Good for them. I, they've. They've done they they've they've kind of plateaued, I think. I think we we jump ship kind of at the right time. Based on this, it's obvious they weren't gonna get promoted um in to the championship and stay in the championship. Which is why we made the decision to go to Wrexham. We we're there for about two seasons. Yep, two two full seasons, and then went to Chelsea after this, um, where we won the League One Championship in 2032. So it took us, so that would have been that first season. Yeah, that first season we went into the championship, and it looks like they've also kind of just plateaued in the championship, which again... Uh, makes sense. Uh, what, what am I trying to say? It uh, it, it further. Oh, what are the words I'm looking for, Zach? Come on, you were doing so well. Uh, it verifies, I guess, uh, our decision to jump ship, go to Chelsea. We we figured out that it just was it just wasn't going to happen. Wasn't meant to be. They went up and immediately relegated. They finished dead last in the 37-38 season. They went back down to the championship. Um, yeah. And then after that, we went to Chelsea. Where... Oh, actually, no. Go back. Go back to Wrexham. Did we make any of these? We did not. Damn. That sucks. We went from Wrexham to Chelsea. Uh, we're definitely not going to be making this list of icons. We didn't do anything special. We didn't win the league. We didn't really do anything. Right? We were here for was that three seasons? Three, four, three, five, three, four seasons. Won the Carabao Cup twice, and that's really all we did. With with Chelsea, the Premier League is so difficult. We go back to competition senior squad. Did they? I guess we could just look at the history. Yeah, they just never. Never got the job done. I, Liverpool, I assume Liverpool City Arsenal is probably the, the past winners. Oh, Tottenham, Liverpool, Manchester United. Okay. Arsenal in the conversation. So, yeah, we just couldn't get the job done at, um, at Chelsea. Decided that's it's getting frustrating. It's getting very frustrating. Let's jump ship while we can. And that's when we went from Chelsea to Bayern Munich, where obviously we, we won the league back-to-back. Um, back to back years. We look at the just the history. Yeah, uh, it, it speaks for itself, right? We we did everything we needed to here. Um, Women's League of Champions, Super Cup Champions, Super Cup Champions, Champions League, Women's League of German Super Cup. So we. We accomplished what we wanted to accomplish while we were at Bayern Munich. Um, the goal of the save was to win the Champions League, right? That's that's what everybody wants to do. Win the Champions League. 
would have loved to go back to back, but you know, losing to God, who was it? Who did we lose to? Leipzig. Uh, did they end up winning it or did they? No, the final hasn't happened yet. Roma versus Leipzig. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Uh, Raul Ray, I saw his name. Where where are you at? Most assists by a player in a season. Raul Ray last season in the Champions League, setting a record. Good stuff there. Let's go back to Planet Landed Los. Let's look at your like Dream Eleven or whatever they call it. Um, best Eleven, all time best Eleven. Adam Elliott sounds familiar. One twenty six. Yeah, we would have had him. We we would have been here for that. Okay, good for you, bud. I think he might have been a youngster when uh, when we left. That would make sense. Daniel Holland don't recognize Mwamba. I don't recognize you, so yeah, you're new. Sam Graham. Yeah, yeah, Yoho. Manny Judd. 245 appearances for the club. Retired at 26. 207 appearances, 31 goals. Good for you, bud. You, uh... What did you win? I guess that's second place in the league. We go back. Did you make you didn't even make the uh personnel? Jack Saunders, Adam L maybe probably not. Nope. Cooper Jamie Breeze. Oh wow. You made the uh, the best eleven. Uh let's see here. Two hundred and twenty some odd, two hundred and thirty some odd appearances. Almost 200 goals. No, that's like through. Uh, wait, hold on. No. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Good for you, bud. I wish I knew what these were. Retired at 35. Played for 20 years as a professional. What a player he was for us, honestly. Taylor Davies, maybe? Yeah, he was one of ours. 108 appearances, three goals. Played as a right back. I think he might have been one of our bench players. 108 appearances, that would make sense. Um, Adam Jones. Yep. He was one of ours, 76 appearances, 12 goals from left midfield. I don't exactly remember what you did for us. But you are an icon to the to the club, so. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff there. That's all I recognize. Uh, where are they now? Oh, it goes into my... Whatever. Uh, from Landed Los, we went to Barry. Was it Barry Town? Yeah, Barry Town United. Let's look at your best eleven. Jay Williams, maybe. Ooh, you're a coach now. Thirty-two now. When when we were when were we here? When did we leave? Twenty twenty nine. Okay. 
Ruben Livesey Austin. Oh my god. That's a fucking name. 118 appearances, three goals from left back. Uh, let's see here. Played at Worthing, joined Swindon. Barrytown. No, that's about it. Good for you, bud. Uh, Caleb Hughes, I think was he was one of ours. Hundred and seventy four appearances, twelve goals from central midfield. I think he was a bench player for us, and then probably played a little bit more. I don't know. Jack Davies doesn't sound familiar. Keon Pritchard. Definitely. He was our, I think, right winger. 256 appearances, 55 goals. I wish, uh, I wish I would have kept your history. Because you're an, you're an icon for Barrytown. That was, that was the, you know, first name on the team sheet. That level of player for us. He was unreal. Brandon back. Okay. You're still playing. Holy cow. You just left Barry as well. Holy cow. You were basically like the, the backup for us, I think. Colin and dang Andy. Oh, oh, oh man. 99 appearances, 113 conceded goals. Oh wow. Colin and Dang Andy. What a what a signing that was. Lovely stuff, bud. Lovely stuff. Um Niall Osborne. I think he was just there for a long time. He's still playing. Good God, son. Retire. Paid 1.7k for him. I mean, not a terrible player for us, in all honesty. He got the job done. Yeah, that next year he started basically every game. Razor Sharp. Ooh, that's a name. 197 appearances, 58 goals. Um, I think this is the guy that just couldn't... I mean, he played a lot, but... This just wasn't wasn't quite it. Zane Walker, I think, was one of ours, maybe. Yep, he was one of ours. Wow. Elias Manser, that another name. He's still playing. Oh my word. Yep. Yeah, he was a, he was a bang on starter for us. 29 appearances that 28-29 season. He, Thomas? Maybe that was the guy we just we let go when we got there. I don't, I don't real, I, I don't remember you. Wow, this is one team I, I really enjoyed this segment. Hanging out with Barrytown. That was a really fun segment, along with Barrow. Barrow was quite fun as well. Let's take a look at Barrow. Um, yeah, we're not on any of those lists. Let's look at your best level first. Let's look at 29 through 31. Unwin is not ours. Oh, yeah, Geki. Oh, wow, you're a coach now. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. I remember this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. I 
Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I remember him. God, wow. He played really well in Nigeria. Good for him. Good for him. Mustafa Okoye? Don't think was ours. No, because that was after we had left. Right? We left in third. We left in 31. He was signed in 31. So we we might have signed him. Maybe. Joseph Edwards. He still plays. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Josiah Linton. That's another name. Went to Waterford for a minute, then finished out his career. At, he's still playing, even, at Myola Park in Northern Ireland. He, uh, started quite a few games for us that first season, that 29-30 season, and then we found somebody to replace him left wing. Or left back, I don't remember. Joby Blockley was... That's a name I recognize, yep. He was a decent little player. Dean Campbell. 419 appearances for Barrow. Absolute icon. For sure. For sure. Aaron Henry. I recognize that face. 171 appearances, 42 goals from central midfield. Decent little player. Ethan Williams, maybe, was ours? No. Not one of ours. Dom Telford was not Glenn Mc... Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Maddie Brady. Oh, man. Maddie Brady. What a guy. What a guy. What a player he was. And then got zero playing time in that season. Literally zero league appearances. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So they brought in somebody decent then. Tom Wilson Brown doesn't really ring a bell. He was there for a season before we left. 172 appearances, five goals from center back. Tom White was not one of ours. Max Andrews, Emil Akawa, Agungo, Toby Adeyemo. How did you think? finish out your career? You finished at Tranmere. Okay. Yeah, because you made a lot of you know bench appearances for us, right? You started every game that year. Yeah, and that year as well, actually. Okay. Who did we have this season? Who was our striker that year? He made eleven, or did he get injured? Was that he might have got injured? something or he was out of form something something happened there for sure yeah because you came in after i left so it wouldn't have been you okay cool nice um after barrow we went to where did we go after barrow Wrexham. We were here for 31, 32, and 33. Arthur Okongo, obviously, is a relatively big name in real life. Arsenal keeper in real life. Actually just signed with Wrexham this summer permanently. 436 appearances for Wrexham. Absolutely. Should be an icon. 
uh, helped us get to the championship. Fantastic player. And camp was not ours. James Lawless was one of ours. He was one of our big signings there. 600,000 pounds or euros, I guess, for him. And played so much for us. And continued to keep playing. Nice. And still plays today. Hector Diaz making the all-time 11. Almost a million euros for him. Probably not worth a million. We're looking at average rating. Probably not worth that much. But still, still got the job done. Victor Kornienko. A uh, Ukrainian player retired at the age of 33 after the 2033 season. So it's shortly after we left. Um, or maybe the same time we left. 171 appearances, two goals. Certainly a, a good player. Louis Bate. Uh, I guess. Uh, Went from Huddersfield into a coaching role. He went to Huddersfield on a free transfer after the 33 season. George Evans may... No, not ours. Ed Hewison. He still plays for Wrexham. Plenty of game time. Looks like he is a... Definite starter. Good for you. Brought him in for six million. Was that our signing? No. Well, it, actually, it might have been. No, it was not. He came in 31. Uh, Palacios? I don't recognize. Yeah, he, he was there. After we left. Ezekiel Zabios. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a guy. 64 appearances, 30 goals. Played left wing, I think. Yeah. Left wing. He was a fantastic player. Ended up uh, retiring from Al Khalij in Saudi Arabia after 136 appearances and 58 goals. Absolute assist machine. Crazy good player. Paul Mullen, again, real life, actual icon of uh, of Wrexham. Rook Norton Cuffey, I believe, also a former Arsenal player. Yeah. Um, nice. I think we signed him and then left. Is that what happened? I vaguely remember him coming in. No, we left him after 33, so yeah, we played him some. I think maybe somebody got hurt. I think he made quite a few appearances, and quite a, like, a good few of those starts. Some Whoever our left back was then got hurt. Mohamed Diaz still plays. He's with Sheffield now. Um, brought him in for 17.5 million. I think this loan was probably... Like playing time related. Now with Sheffield. Amari Kellerman retired, 31 years old. Spent just a few seasons with Wrexham, then retired from Chorley after a short stint there. 85 appearances, 40 goals. Central attacking midfielder. Nice. Oh, uh, see, this is this is the fun part of journeyman saves is, is going back and looking at, you know, at, especially like the, the small teams. Chelsea, I think, is going to be, you know, Lampard and shit like that in the uh, in the best 11. We are here 33 through 37. I got Dogen. Really?
Surely not. Okay. That that's our best Chelsea's best 11. What does your history look like? I mean, you go back this far? I wonder if that is it has to be like from start of save. Right, because Regardless of how well Joffrey Carbian and Enzo Fernandez played, you don't have Frank Lampard not in your best 11, right? Or Petr Cech as your goalie. Okay. I'm at Idoian. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, 37 and a half million euro signing. Decent keeper. Right. Trevor Chalaba, Levi Colwell, Axel Diaz. Disasi? This is not one of my guys. Now, he went to El Idihad before I stepped in. Okay. Ben Chilwell, we know Ben Chilwell. Luger Shod. Oh, man. Brenneman on loan from Leipzig for 110,000 euros. Signed him for 35 and a half. Is this... Was he already here? When did we come in? 33? Oh, please, please. Okay, yeah, so we are like in the process of signing him, I think. When I stepped in. Either way, good player. Joffrey Carbia. Such a good signing. I'm not going to say it's my best signing, but a damn good one. It is right up there. Right up there. 87 million euros for him. I mean, first one on the team sheet, right? First one on the team sheet. Great player, 10 out of 10. Enzo Fernandez, we know him. Raheem Sterling, Nikola Mudrik. Christopher Nkunku. I still wish we had, like, the history. Attacking midfielder. Uh, Joffrey Carby, I think, basically, I like, took his spot over. Uh, we s sold him to Angers. For Bruggen, Stutz. Uh, this was our Sousa. Yeah, center back Sousa. Great signing. <laughs> Such a good signing. Um, again, easy. You know he's starting. Reese James, Sandro Rodriguez. He's still at Chelsea. 100 million euros back in 29. Great player, left winger. I mean, that front four we had going. Right, Leon DeVries up front. He's still playing at L80 head. Um, when he played well, he played really well. Leon DeVries. When he didn't play well. Very tough to enjoy him, right? 501 appearances, 232 goals. Such a good, you know, uh, when he's on, he's on. When he's not, so useless. Who was it that we, that we basically subbed him out with? Oh, who was that? We have the transfers. No, we don't. Oh, Benigno. What a signing that was. 200 million for him. Oh, lights out player. Fantastic player. 
Sky Vink, that's who I'm thinking of. Sky Vink. Not a overly fantastic player. Not overly prolific. But when we needed him, he stepped up. That's why I appreciate it. Jose. Oh, man. All right. And then that brings us to Bayern Munich. Right. We, we're here for that. Let's look at the best 11. Alfonso Davis, Eunice Musa. Um, none of our, our guys making it. Steven David getting the kind of secondary secondary nod. Uh, Matthias Delict. He, yep. That, that's right. We brought him to Chelsea. That's right. For free as well. <laughs> and started damn near every game. <laughs> Oh, Niels Visser. What a player he was. Mathis Tell. Lauren Ulrich. Mario Schlosser. Um, I mean, the one, the signing was that Mirage Duman signing. I chased him for so long. I mean, we were chasing him at Chelsea, trying to sign him. And finally managed to get something going. Had a team that would give me a shit ton of money to spend on a player. And uh and 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 we we did it. We we did it. And we won the Champions League. So that is gonna be it for today for the series. This is going up on Friday. So Monday, we are coming out with a new series. I haven't tested it a whole lot. I opened it up and it works. And then I was like, you know, what? enough testing. I have a thumbnail created. It's a really good thumbnail compared to the, the one I used for the journey. Um, overall, I think the journey is, is definitely going to be a staple for the channel. Love playing a journeyman save. Learned quite a lot about uh, the YouTube algorithm and shit like that. Um, what I enjoy, what I don't, what I'm good at, what I'm not. All those kinds of things. Um, yeah, uh, going into the next series. And I think I'm probably going to implement this uh, permanently. I'm going to use the kind of second half, second, third, last third, whatever you want to call it, last bit of uh, the, the FM24 cycle to kind of play with the channel a little bit, try to try some different things. And um, the, the big thing I'm changing is the upload time. I'm still going to do Monday through Friday. Or at least try to. And instead of a 3 p.m. Central Time, we're going to move to a 9 a.m. Uh, looking at uh, demographics for the channel and just using common sense. A lot of the viewers I get are from Europe. So if we look at UK time, UK is six hours ahead of me, which means a 3 p.m. Central, uh, 3 p.m upload time central is 9 p.m uk time and even later as you get into europe so moving it to 9 a.m central should be a 3 p.m uk time upload and as you get further east it's later and later so a lot of people especially monday through friday have jobs so having videos go live in the middle of the night is not ideal for um, for viewership reasons. So that's really the big reason is just views and potential views, I think, is, is a better way to put it. 
Um, anything else? I don't think so. Um, that's where we're going to call it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All of those fun things. Ring the bell. I'm going to try to implement that into the little outro bit. And I'll ring the bell to uh, share. Uh, what, what are the other ones? I don't know. I think that's all of them. Embed that. Embed my videos. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. All those fun things. And as always, we'll see you later.